Module 6, Generating a Bill of Material and Lists, covers the following topics. Valve, Bill of Material, Equipment, Line, Instrument, and Miscellaneous Lists. The first topic in Module 6 is creating a Valve Bill of Material. Select the Bill of Material tab, and then select the Generate Bill of Material tool. The current drawing is highlighted, but you can create a global bill of material by selecting one or more drawings. Click Next. We can set a line number filter or a component size filter if required. By default, all are selected. We can also select a destination filter. Click Next. Select the template for the bill of material. And then select the output format. We can have a web page, HTML, spreadsheet, CSV, a text file, we can insert it into the drawing, or we can save it as a drawing. Let's look at each of the formats. Select Web Page, click Finish. A sample of the bill of material shows up in HTML format. We can also save that format. Our second is a spreadsheet, click Finish. This shows a sample of the bill of material in Excel format. We are given the option to save the file as well. Our third option is text. Click Finish. This opens up the notepad and shows a sample of the build material. Ability to save it as a TXT format. Inserting into the drawing is the default. So we'll take a look at saving as a drawing. If we click Finish, it allows us to give it a drawing file name but we will insert it into the drawing. Click Finish. It asks for an insertion point, which is the top right by default. Do you want to add the balloons for the valves? Yes or no? We'll click No. And let's take a quick look at the valve bill of material. The format and layout of the bill of material can be adjusted through the bill of material settings manager. Under the PNID, if we open up the valve BOM, we can adjust what the layout, the sorting, the options, and the preview. This can be adjusted and is customizable. If changes are made to the PNID, we can remove the bill of material to remove bill of material tool and say OK. We can replace the bill of material after the changes simply by repeating the routine. This time, we'll insert the item balloons. Select the magnification factor and then we can place our item balloons for each of our valves. And now we have our item balloons for our valves that match with our valve bill of material. The last topic in Module 6 is the ability to generate lists. Equipment lists, line lists, instrument lists, and some miscellaneous lists. Select the Generate List tool. The current drawing is highlighted. Lists can be created from one or more drawings. The output format is the same as our bill of material. Our templates show up for the different types of lists that can be created, from our equipment list to our line number list to our instrument list. Let's place the instrument list. It shows all the instruments within the drawing. Let's place the equipment list. and the equipment list is placed, showing all of the equipment numbers. Let's take a look at adding the line number list. And the line list is attached to the drawing as well. Other lists that can be created, miscellaneous lists, are the auto data, the drawing list, and the instrument summary list. To make adjustments to the column layouts, we can use our Bill of Material Settings Manager and we can adjust our list from our auto data list to our equipment list, the layouts, numbering, the previews. This concludes the topics covered in Module 6. Module 6 is the last module in the ProCAD PNID tutorials. Review the topics in this module or select another module.